Hi guys, this is Silas here with new abstract art on a project. I wanted to try some new techniques with acrylic, so this page is mostly about layering and glazing colors over to create some interesting effects. As always, first step was to just sew the whole page. Then I started applying a mix of acrylic paints mixed a little bit with water. I applied mostly dark colors and I didn't try to blend them together so later they could create interesting texture. Next, while paint is still wet, I put plastic sheets on top of it and move with the sheet a little bit to create some wrinkles. And as you can see, this technique creates really interesting texture for my background. I let this dry completely and then I applied more paints and I repeated the same process with plastic sheet. Then I started applying more bright colors and while this layer is still wet I sprinkled some water droplets on my page and then I dried my page with paper towels. This technique creates also very interesting effect. I will later do this again so you could see the results more clearly. Now when my background is finished I draw some abstract shapes and elements with my white charcoal pencil. I really like using charcoal pencil because it leaves no marks in the paper and if you change your mind you could wipe it very easily. Then I started work on those elements. First I colored them using mostly white to create sort of a base for my next layers. The brush you could see me using for final blending is just regular makeup brush but because it has such a short handle I glue on it some Chinese stick so I could use it more comfortably and have more control with it. I also use this very soft brush to get rid of the brush strokes and to create very smooth transitions. Here I added some black paint spatters and I also wanted to create more texture so I took a little bit of plastic sheets and with this I applied brown paint to create some random shapes. And now you could see better the results of the technique with water splashes and paper towels.
Uh, by the way, as always, list of all supplies used in this video will be listed in the description under the video or in my blog. For the final layer I used mostly iridescence colors, so this page would have also a little bit of shine. In the end I added also some white spatters to bring this page together and this page is finished. I had so much fun during this project, so I will definitely try something like this again. As always in the end of the video you can see some close up photos of this page, so don't forget to check them out. Thank you very much for your attention, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I would also love to hear any of your comments, thoughts or suggestions. You can also follow me on Instagram. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!